Hey there, this is your favorite talking head. So I have a topic for you today. You should use and buy Linux computers, Linux laptops, Linux PC, Linux desktop PC. And what I mean by this, uh, today I stumbled upon this um, X account, it's FOSS. And I replied, um, the, the question was, what is your favorite thing about using Linux that you wish more people knew about? And I replied, no worries about the drivers. And of course I got a ton of replies, but um, the, the thing, what I meant with my reply is um, the following. So uh, a couple of months ago, there was this discussion about Steam Deck versus Rogue Ally from Asus. Uh, the bo both are handheld devices for gaming, right? And the um, Steam Deck, of course, runs on Linux. Uh, the Rogue Ally uh, comes preloaded with Windows 11, I think. And this guy who owns uh, Rogue Ally said how he did not use the device for um, a little bit. And then he tried to play a game on it. He picked it up, turned it on, and there was this uh, message waiting for him that he needs to update uh, drivers. And then he waited like, uh, you know, 15 minutes or 30 to update all these drivers. Then it rebooted. Uh, then it, then he got a new message to update more drivers and then it rebooted. It's a classic PC Windows gaming experience, right? You need drivers for uh, your, um, Oh, for your hardware, right? Also, you need to have updated driver uh, for your graphics card. And all this uh, takes some of maintenance. It's what PC gamers on Windows are used to. So from my perspective as a Radeon user on Linux who also plays a lot of games, I don't even see all those updates. I just do my uh, command on my preferred Linux distribution of choice. Uh, which updates my distribution to the latest one when I say so. And I have the latest kernel. The latest kernel contains the latest drivers and that's pretty much it. So that's what I meant. And of course, uh, the, the other people who reply to my comments, uh, so the replies are like, my ass, I couldn't use Linux for that one specific reason, drivers. Uh, the other guy says, um, the Wi-Fi card on my old gaming PC just left the chat. Uh, the other guy says, the only thing that kept me from using Linux, I had a problem that made the touchpad scrolling speed high. I tried all the solution on Reddit and they uh, didn't work, so I went back to Windows. He went back to Windows because touchpad scrolling was a bit fast. Um, there is another reply, meanwhile NVIDIA, another reply, such a lie, another reply, I would disagree with this one. So most of these replies don't really have any arguments, but some of these are somewhat legit, right? And the thing about drivers uh, is when you decide to cross over from Windows to Linux, see if that is your actual wish. I mean, I'm not talking about people who are kind of a forced to go to Linux because some of their uh, nerd Linux friends force them to do it because Linux is better, you know, and then they cross over and they don't get enough attention from this particular friend who, who forced them to do this and they go back because no love. You need to give them love. You need to give love to the new users, right? Uh, and, and make sure that they don't step on the mine uh, because there are some mines on the Linux world. So when you cross to, to Linux, right, you will eventually run into some drivers issues. This is usually because your hardware is not supported. But what I meant with this whole video is that you should aim for using the actual hardware that is properly supported on Linux. Maybe when you transition from uh, Windows to Linux as a fresh a user, you might have some problems with Wi-Fi, but that's very rare on Linux, to be honest. Uh, NVIDIA is a more obvious uh, issue, which is in pretty good shape nowadays, but still not perfect. Also, this video that I'm recording, I'm using an XLR microphone, which is connected to my audio interface. It's branded uh, Audient, and the model is Evo 4. 
and this particular model does not have Linux drivers at all, but it presents itself uh, as a generically compatible device uh, on Linux and it just works, right? The only problem that I have had with this device is when I freshly bought it, it was a brand new device. Uh, and this device has uh, some kind of a uh, microphone uh, input, something loopback device. I'm not even sure how it works, but basically it gives you an option to record uh, two different audio inputs from two directions, like when you're having a chat with someone over Discord or something, you can record both of you on two different channels at once. So the problem that uh, this device had on day one for me is that uh, by default, uh, all of these channels uh, in hardware were uh, on 100% of volume, which resulted in me hearing the loop back of myself all the time. And the way this works is that you need to install software for that on Windows or Mac OS to manipulate the, the volumes of these um, devices and also to toggle them on and off. Uh, if you don't do that, by default, when you unplug the power and when you plug it back in, uh, it's on 100%. And how I fix it on the day one is I would reboot to Windows, I would turn off the effect or the input that I don't really need, and then I would reboot back to Linux and it would be fine until I unplug it completely and plug it back in. And later, after they got, uh, I suppose, a lot of attention from Linux users, they just disabled it by default. It's not perfect, but it's good enough, right? There are more cases like this, like uh, touch screens and Wacom tablets and, and similar devices. Some of them don't have proper driver support uh, on Linux. And this is something that the overall Linux community could work on to attract more of the variety of uh, new Linux users, right? But when you start using Linux and when you have some kind of driver issues over time, you will eventually upgrade your hardware, replace it with a new PC, with a new laptop, if you're a laptop user or both, if you have both. And that is a good time to think about what problems did you have uh, so far and maybe just pick the um, correct hardware that is proven to work great on Linux. So, you know, from the um, laptop perspective, a lot of people recommend ThinkPads because ThinkPads generally uh, do have a um, hardware lineup that is well balanced with drivers for Linux, right? There are also uh, so-called Linux laptops that are certain that certain companies are selling uh, with proper support, right? And there you have it, right? So, in my opinion, we should strive towards picking our next hardware, like voting with our wallets, right? Uh, and picking the Linux certified uh, hardware, if that's uh, if that's a thing, right? Anyways, if you liked my video, maybe click that thank you button below this video or visit my coffee page and I'm gonna see you in the next video.